How do you approach security testing in general? Some people say that you need to learn how to use the system fully before trying to break it. Do you try to understand small components of the system built up bottom up or top down? Do you just intuition and not having a specific approach? Yeah, I think actually security testing is a great way to learn a system because you are forced to look into the different parts and learn about how it functions. And it's not, you have a motivation to do it, right? I mean, everybody can learn everything. You just need the motivation and time to do it. So if you apply this to any system that you want to analyze, maybe a web application or even something like the a whole operating system, you need some motivation that guides you. Maybe you have fun just reading the code because you have fun reading code. Um, but I don't have this motivation, for example, but looking for security issues is a motivation. So that drives me then to wanting to understand the system better. Um, yeah. Uh, of course, if you already understand the system because it's easy to understand or you have prior experience or you built it or I don't know, whatever, then obviously then it will be more efficient, your, um, your security testing, because you have a much better idea ab about it already. But uh, as I said, it can be a great motivation to, security testing can be a great motivation to, and start learning a system. And then the other important approach is kind of like, it, it all depends bottom up, top down, you know, it, it, that is intuition, that is experience, that is how much I know about the system. But uh, generally approaches are, you might look for uh, sinks. Uh, so sinks are things where input is flowing into. You look for, does it handle files? Does it run ex um, external programs? Um, does it, you know, do anything interesting? And then you can try to trace back where does input come from, or you go the other way around. You try to identify all the places where input is coming in, and then you try to read the code where this untrusted input is flowing. If you can do something with that, um, there is no way to know which approach is the uh, best one. It totally depends on the project, and this is something where you get a feeling for. Um, if one approach might be better and you might jump and switch between those things if one becomes not fruitful or feels feel like you are getting stuck then maybe you switch the approach and yeah I don't know that's kind of the rough idea I made a video once uh, sources sinks um, that uh, I mean talks a little bit about uh, about that